In this video, we are going to learn how to create an Independence Day flyer like this. The link to download all the resources we'll be using will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow suit. Let's get into Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, the first thing I'll do is to create a new document and I'll be working with a 4x4 inch document. You can set your resolution to 300 and you click on create. First off is I would like to add a solid color because I don't want to use white so I'll just add a solid color and um, this is the color code for that just a little bit far from white so after doing this the next thing I want to do is to bring in my Nigerian flag so I'll bring in the flag here just like that and I'll drop it in Photoshop I'm going to make a few tweaks to it first you right click and you rasterize the layer and you come over to this place and you click on remove background this only works if you are using um, a photoshop version from 2021 upwards so after doing this the next thing you do is you click on this layer max and change your brush options to this then you brush off this side so we can have the shadow part back in the design so next off, you press Ctrl T on your keyboard and you can transform the flag down just like that. And we can place it nicely here, just like that. So depending on how you want the size of your flag to be, you can just place it here, just like that. Next off is I'll pick my rectangle tool and I will draw a nice small rectangle here, just like that. And this time I'm going to use the color of this this green color so this is the color I'm going to be using and I'll click on OK I'll pick my move tool and the next thing I will do is to bring in my 62 so this is the 62 I've already done downloaded it online and I tweaked a little some little things on it so you bring in the 62 here just like that and just place it nicely in the document you can also shift in your flag just to the right a bit so you can give the 62 a breathing space press ctrl t on your keyboard to expand it a little bit and click ok since the nigeria is turning 62 today that is why we are using 62 next off is we pick our text tool and we are using the font called azonix so and i'll also be using this green color here this is the color code click ok and next off is i'll type anniversary so this is this this is the second anniversary for nigeria press ctrl c and you reduce the anniversary just like that and you click ok and you can bring the anniversary right under the 62 just like that so press ctrl j on your keyboard to duplicate the anniversary and bring it to the topmost layer double click it and this time we are going to type the code which says the preservation of freedom is not the tax of soldiers alone the whole nation has to be strong so press ctrl a and we open our text so we have to reduce the tracking you can set it to auto then reduce it a bit more just like that so when you get the perfect size of your tracking you can click ok and next up is we press ctrl t on our keyboard to reduce it when you reduce it to the size you want you can click ok so i just click ok here i'll press ctrl a on my keyboard and i'll align it to the center just like that and i'll press ctrl d on my keyboard and i've been able to create a nice minimal looking independence day flyer in photoshop thank you so much for watching this video Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it will help the channel in growing. See you in the next video.